Hi, Rollins have sent me some clamps by Pony Jorgensen to uh, review. So obviously they've been sent to me for free, uh, take that in mind, uh, but actually I've found them to be very good, so make of that what you will. I've got my little friend here to give it a thumbs up and thumbs down, so it's giving me an idea of what a thumbs up is. Thumbs up, thumbs down, hopefully you can see that. Uh, let's get cracking. The first clamps, simplest ones, are these little ones. Um, I like them, but for me, with arthritis in my hands, it's impossible for me to use them one-handed and open them up. There's quite a bit of pressure there. I'll have to start it with two hands, and that just makes it a bit awkward. The other thing I notice is that actually, they're very wide here, which is causing me the problem. And when I've got the clamp parallel opened, like so, the handles aren't together. So actually a design change could make them easier for someone like me to be able to use them just with one hand. They are, however, pretty well put together and uh, in all other respects, I like them. The covers on them seem very good, nice and soft, and they're not gonna mar things. And there's definitely a lot of clamping pressure in there. So it's a kind of one thumb up, one thumb down. Now, one up, one down. One up, and the other one down. That's it. One up, one down. Next we have these clamps. These have become very popular over the last 10 years or so. So easily slide, and then we've got the, the handle to close up the clamp head. It can be reversed to um, make them expand, uh, obviously take things apart. These are certainly the best uh, in many respects that I've used. A lot of the ones I've come across have had a poor mechanism, been difficult to slide and to pump, or the clamp heads have come loose or have been a bit floppy. These seem very well built. Uh, one thing I really like about them is to reverse the heads. It's simply push of a button and it comes off. We can turn it around and put it on the other end. And again, that's just a push of the button and it's on there. So to expand them, take stuff apart, very easy. On other ones, other clamps, you'll find that to reverse the head, you have to probably undo a bolt at the end, put it on the other end and then redo the bolt. That's just time wasting. So. It's a really great feature on these. I've not seen it on any other manufacturers. Whoops. Another thing you might have noticed on the end of these is a strange bit on the, uh, on the molding. Looks like a bit of a dovetail. Reason for that is, have you ever been clamping something? Um, you need to, a long clamp, and the longest one you've got available, because all your others maybe are in action, is just not quite long enough. Well, with these clamps, what we can do is we can reverse the head, or we can flip the head upside down, I should say, put it on, get another one, do the same thing, put the head on upside down, and then those two dovetails come together in the middle, and suddenly we've now got a clamp with that much more capacity. I really love that feature. The one thing about these clamps that perhaps could be improved upon is the release mechanism on the clamping head. It works really well, it releases it, but you have to do all the action yourself to move it. On these by Wolfcraft, they've got a second trigger on here where if you actually pump that, then the clamp opens up on its own. So that's just the, the very minor thing which I would prefer to see on these. Otherwise, they are most definitely a thumbs up from me. And a thumbs up. That's right. There we go. Moving swiftly on. I'm sure you've all seen these. Very popular many years ago. Uh, don't think they're not useful these days. They are. I have my own ones. Always kept under the bench because I use them regularly happen to be pretty much the same size. Now these are hand screws, obviously. 
interesting thing with the uh, the ones from Jorgensen here is that turning them in what I would call the clockwise direction away from me they open up on this and my other ones clockwise direction closes them up so that caused me a bit of confusion to begin with because they do take a little bit of getting used to uh, hand screws and uh, once you get used to them they're great they do some fantastic clamping things that maybe you can't do with anything else for example clamping narrow stock on the bench for um, let's just say you want to plane that you don't have a vice but you can easily take a hand screw wherever you're going clamp something narrow on the bench or, or anywhere else to plane the top of it keeps it nice and firm Now, as long as you keep your hands aligned when you're winding them open or closed, the jaws will stay parallel. But you can put them out of sync with each other, close up one end for really tight clamping at one end, or maybe you're clamping something that's not quite square. And you'll find all sorts of uses for them if you get a pair and start playing with them. So as far as these, as far as I'm concerned with these ones from Jorgensen, they're as good as, as any other one that I've come across so far. So it's a, it's a thumb up and a thumb down. So it's a bit of, bit of both. Yeah, well done. On to the next one, F-clamps. Now, this is the Jorgensen F-clamp. This is the clamp that I've been using regularly. Uh, the problem I find with this one is I might set it for the dimension I want uh, for a clamping job, so I'm all ready with my clamps, but then if I pick it up in the wrong way, it opens all the way up. Not very handy. With this one, we've got a uh, kind of trigger action down here, which locks onto the bar. So we've set it up, it's not going anywhere, it's ready for when I, I need to clamp it. To release it, simply press on here and slide it up and down. So that's, that's a lovely feature. The screw, hand screw, has got a good handle on it with a rubber coating. Gives a lot of grip, so I can get a lot of pressure on there, either for actually tightening, and then of course for releasing as well. The covers on the heads, nice soft covers. They're well held on. Takes quite an effort to get either of them off. Another thing which often happens with these clamps is when they get a bit old, things slide off quite easily. And that's not falling off at the moment, but it really is quite loose. So in all respects with this clamp, it's a thumbs up. Finally, we've got parallel clamps. I've only recently got myself any parallel clamps. Uh, over the last year I've been using them and actually I, I do like them, they're expensive, but uh, they do a good job. Jaws remain parallel when you're clamping something up, which can be really good if you're doing carcasses, drawers, etc. This set from Jorgensen. Slide nice and freely. If you haven't come across parallel clamps before, the idea is you can clamp something between the heads and you'll get equal pressure all the way down there. Now when you close them up, they don't start parallel, but as soon as you start tightening, as soon as you've got any pressure on there, then it becomes pretty constant pressure on both the outside of the jaw and the inside of the jaw. Really helps with clamping things up square. Got a nice, grippy handle. In fact, I'm pretty certain that's exactly the same part as that used on the F-clamp. So good grip, works well. Also got on the end here, a quick release for this little up stand. Now this stand holds this end up, so it's um, parallel with the workbench, and so we can slide this easily. If I remove that, we can remove the head, Turn it round. It's 
slide it on the other way. And what have we got now? Well, we've got a way of taking something apart whilst keeping the jaws parallel. So we can apply pressure, say, to part of a frame just to open it up. And rather than opening up one end more than the other, this should keep it parallel or help to at least. So it's certainly got two functions to it. So for these, as good as uh, the ones I've got myself, um, I haven't tried all the manufacturer's clamps in, by any means, so when I'm comparing these with other clamps, I'm comparing them with the ones that I've used and that I own. Uh, this definitely is good as the ones I've got, and uh, I think I'll give that a thumbs up as well. Yep. Now, one final word. You may have noticed that there's a consistent livery to all these clamps. This uh, orange color, I have found that to be extremely easy to see around the workshop. It's very visible. When I've clamped something up, I don't bump into the clamp ends. I see them there, uh, it's so obvious. Only improvement could be to have something on the other end that's just as bright. So it's also a thumbs up for the livery. Now I definitely suggest if you're in the market for clamps that you get yourself to somewhere that supplies these to have a look yourself. I think you'll be impressed. Uh, if you can't see them in person, make sure that wherever you're ordering them from that you can return them if you're not impressed. Finally, we've got ponies hold down, hold fast, which uh, I almost forgot because I use it in my uh, sawing bench, which is normally down on the floor. Um, I use dog little pups in here to stop the work work uh, floating across the bench. And then I can put this hold fast in, one tap, nice rock solid, uh, easy to release as well. It's certainly beefy and it works. Uh, there's not an awful lot of difference between different manufacturers hold fast as long as they do the job and this does. I would like to thank at the end my little buddy, my nephew, for his thumbs up and thumbs down. Well done. Sorted.